how to create and manage Active Directory user account using PowerShell. We can use Active Directory users and computer console as well as Active Directory administrator center to create and manage Active Directory user account by using GUI interface. It is also possible to create Active Directory user account through PowerShell. There are a number of different ways in which user accounts can be created by using PowerShell. One option is to manually create user account by using new hyphen ad user cmd lake. So let's open Windows PowerShell. At the PowerShell, I'm going to type command import module active directory and then press enter. Let's clear the screen and at the PowerShell, I'm going to type cmd lake new ad user. At a minimum, you will need to provide the name of that user account that you want to create. In our case, we want to create user3. So let's specify the name user3. And you have to specify the corresponding user principal name to that user. So let's use user principal name switch. And let's specify the UPN user3 at mylab.local. Now the above same delays will create an user account name user3 in a domain name mylab.local. Now let's press enter and here we go. Now our user3 has been successfully created. To confirm that we can use cmdelete get hyphen ad user. So let's type cmdelete get hyphen ad user and then you have to just specify the name of your user account. In our case that is user3. Here we go. As you can see, the user's distinguished name is CN is equal to user3, CN is equal to users, DC is equal to my lab, and DC is equal to local. So when you create user account by using new hyphen AD user CM delete, and if you didn't specify the path to create user account in Active Directory, that user account will be stored under users container. Let's open Active Directory users and computers console and let's click on users container let's scroll to the end and here we can see we have our user account name user 3 let's minimize this console now our next task is to enable the user account but when we use powershell to create an active directory account that account is disabled by default and powershell will not allow you to enable the user account unless the account has been assigned a password so our first task is to assign a password to our user account user3 and for that we can use cmdelete set ad account password. If you are only creating an account or two then it is probably going to be easiest to manually assign a password to that newly created user account. But for bulk user account creation however it is possible to write a password to a text file in an encrypted format and then leverage the password file during the account creation process. But for us, we can use set hyphen ad account password to set a password to our only user account user 3. After typing the CMD lets, now we have to specify the identity and that is user 3 in our case. Once you type the CMD let, let's press enter and you will be prompted to enter and then re-enter the password that you want to assign to that user account. But before, you have to specify the current password. And as we know, our user 3 has a blank password right now. So let's press enter and now we have to specify the desired password. Now press enter again and repeat this password. Now let's press enter again. So now we have successfully assigned the password to our user user 3. Our next step is to enable the user account and for that we can use cmdelete enable ad account and then you just have to specify the username that is user3 in our case. Let's press enter. After enabling the user account, it is good idea to confirm that the account is indeed enabled. You can do so by entering command get hyphen ad user then we have to type username user 3 hyphen properties and then enable. Now let's press enter. And as you can see the value for enable column is set to true. That means that user account is currently enabled. 
In the first step, we create one Active Directory user account using PowerShell. In the second step, we assign a password to user account. And in the third step, we enable the user account after assigning the password. All three of these steps that we have seen can be performed as a part of a single command. For example, if you wanted to create user account name user4, you could create and enable the account by using cmd lib new hyphen ad user then specify name switch user4 and let's specify user principal name user4 at mylab.local let's specify the path because this time we want to store our user4 in our OU name OU1 OU is equal to OU1 then uh, DC is equal to my lab DC is equal to local and now the most important part account password read post hyphen as a secure string account password hyphen pass through pipe and then we will use enable adcm deletes after typing this cm delete let's press enter it will ask for specify the user account password now let's specify the password and then press enter here we go so let's check our user is created or not and for that i'm going to use cm delete get hyphen ad user user4 and then press enter now this time as you can see user's distinguished name is cn is equal to user4 ou is equal to ou1 dc is equal to my lab and dc is equal to local and as you can see the user account is currently enabled let's check in our active directory users and computer console select ou1 right click on it and select refresh here we have our user account name user4. Now let's uh, modify the user account attributes using PowerShell. If you see the property of our user4 and let's click on organization and here you can see department value is currently empty. Let's click on OK and let's set department value using Windows PowerShell. But first let's get the information about current value for department attribute for our user4. And for that we have to run same delete get hyphen ad user hyphen identity user4 hyphen properties and then we have to type department. Now press enter. Currently as you can see the department value is empty. Now let's set department for our user user4. Let's use same delete set ad user user4 hyphen department and then let's type uh, administration department now let's press enter okay and now let's run the previous theme deletes to get user department information now press enter and this time you can see the currently user department value is set to administration so we can modify user account properties using set hyphen ad user theme deletes now suppose if you want to list all users from a particular OU, at that time we can run swim delete get ad user hyphen search base and let's specify OU is equal to OU1, DC is equal to my lab, DC is equal to local hyphen filter star and let's use format list fl name only. Here you can see we got the list of user account stored under OU1 and currently we have a total 3 user, test user 1, test user 2 and user 4. Now suppose if you want to set user department value to all users from specific OU, we have to run this same delay. Let's, now let's type set ADA user hyphen department and let's type a value to administration now let's press enter and that's it let's check the department for our user test user 1 and test user 2 right click and select refresh 
and double click on test user one click on organization and here we can see user department is set to administration do the same for our test user two and here we go so with that help of that same delete we can set a value for multiple user account so this is the way how we can use the windows powershell to create and manage Active Directory user account in Windows Server 2016 Active Directory domain. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.